Hi, Gemini. Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Uh, today we're going to do a general reading for January 2021. Uh, bear in mind that this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Keep what resonates and leave what does not. Um, see, also, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. Uh, therefore, your time it may vary from divine time, but it's always on time. Yeah, day. Now, information to reach me is down in the description box below. Uh, welcome to the channel for those who are new. Welcome back for those who are returning. And let's see. Let's just get down to it, shall we? All right. Father God, the one true source, ancestors, angels, archangels, and guides. Father God, the one true source, ancestors, angels, archangels, and guides. Father God, the one true source, ancestors, angels, archangels, and guides. Thank you. 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 Okay. So, what messages do you have for Gemini? Uh, what messages do you have for Gemini? For January 2020, what messages do you have for Gemini? January 2021, January 2021, make it clear, make it plain, make it clear, and make it plain. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we've got the Ten of Cups, Judgment, the High Priestess in the World, clarified by the Ten of Cups, I mean the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. You are all about this solid foundation all the way across, no matter which way you cut it. And you know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and you're willing to do the work to get it done, because now that you have the deep tools that you need and you have the information on said tools you know how to pick the right one for the job that you need to do because you're starting something new in your walk you are starting something new in your walk and this new thing is here to bring you longevity like not just longevity but longevity in your abundance long term abundance we've got the ten of wands the queen of wands and the six of cups clarifying the ten of cups and the ten of discs so we got ten 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 well alrighty then um but we've got the ten of wands the queen of wands and the six of cups here so what i see is heavy is the head Heavy is the head that holds the crown. It's, you are perfect, you, you know that this has caused a heavy burden for you. And you have shouldered it with such grace. You, you have shouldered it with such grace because you know that with the trials and tribulations that have been given to you by spirit. Spirit has been with you. Spirit has showed you grace. And now it is time for spirit to exceedingly and abundantly bless you. And you're in your head about it, Nine of Swords, about main, you're, you're in your head, you're in your head about so I've got the Nine of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Two of Swords. So it looks like you you got anxiety about it. It's almost like it's too good to be true. And you want to remember this feeling. And you also want to remember how to, how to be in a position to keep that longevity coming. To keep that prosperity coming. Right? Because you know what it's like to be without... And you know what it's like to make the easy decisions that cause you to be without. And so now you are managing what is actually easy and what is truly a life of ease. Because we, you know, you are keenly aware that those two aren't necessarily the same. 
I had to clarify the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords. We've got the Empress, beautiful. The Tower, doggone right, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so yes, you're stepping into you're stepping into your Divine Feminine. You are stepping into your Divine Feminine aspect of yourself. You are mastering all of your elements within you and letting all of those things that fall outside of that let it fall away and you're letting these things happen on their own you're letting these things happen on their own so when they show themselves the door they really show themselves the door and to clarify the world card and the queen of cups, we have the wheel of fortune. Of the full. And the page of cups. I mean, new, new, and new. Come on. Come on, kids. The wheel of fortune. Yep. The full card. And the page of cups. You are all about this newness right now, and you know it. Like, we're right here. We are right in front. Just like, yes. Whew. New stuff. Let me... New stuff. Tower card. Let me... Let me ground and center myself so that I know... So that I... I that I take full advantage of the newness that is here in my space. Ah, oh, yes, Gemini. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, some final messages. Come on, we got the Emperor, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. You are serious about your emotional health. You are serious about, you are serious about your emotional health. You are going to fight you are going to fight for this. You are going to fight for this piece. You mean that shit. Doggone right. And you know that when it comes to managing any type of emotion, the only person's emotion that you are responsible for is your own. The only one that you actually have any type of control emperor over is your own. You know that. You know that. And final words of advice are the Three of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment is here for you. Wish fulfillment is here for you. You have planted these seeds. You've got, you've got, you've planted, not only have you planted the seeds, but they've already started to sprout and you're just waiting for them to grow and mature into, into what it is that you have desired. And you've got the seven of cups, which is the, the, the choice card. This is the investment card. This is the, this is, whew, 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 hold on, I'm, I'm getting excited. These are the blessings that have are that are coming in and they are tailor made for you. They're tailor made for you. And there are choices, there are choices here that can lead to to this nine of pentacles, this 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 a abundant you space that you're in so or that you're working towards you've uh, you've you've planted the seeds and now you're watching them grow
And to round it all out, we've got the Queen of Swords. Honesty above all things. Honesty with yourself. And you find that when you are honest with yourself, that those around you become honest as well. You can see through you can see through the masks that people are putting on. And because you are not only honest with yourself, but also showing grace, you're also being graceful to those around you. Now, that doesn't mean that you're just going to allow any old thing from any old body, no. But you do offer a bit of understanding when dealing with other people, even when they do come to you from an inauthentic space. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, Gemini. Um, again, if this resonated, please be sure to hit the like and the share button. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified of when I upload new videos because I'll be doing so all the time. So until next time, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I will see you all on the next go around. Bye, Gemini. <laughs>